back to Clara. Green Street proved as slippery as you feared. Now asking for a double fee with the Velvet Rose client named Sykes has gotten himself banned over the attachment of Beatrix. The sentiment might be brutal. Madame Zora revealed that B has been lax about using prophylactics with the gentleman. Not even sunlight can lift the pawn of despair on Beggar's Lane. Where so many have wagered their pay at the Palladium, only to be thrown out in the cobblestones, penniless. The, mm, okay. The building scats long shadows on the reeking streets, full of the gritty waste and toil newspaper. Any Londoner with the handle of their vices will seldom tread the jury block, but the regular circle back like a spinning jenny. They scrap together what they can, feeding their habits by losing only a little each week. Meanwhile. Oh, okay. I was like, this is the same as last time. The cramped tenements provide some shelter from the roach colonies and crane and cane rats. Then there's the, basil the bustling electric fence bordering the containment zone. Right upon the full moon, it said the where. The wolves break free of their cells and feast on whatever might wander inside. Ivana must have seen which window you marked and scrambled up the building. Rather agile, one could say. Anyway, she's no longer loitering by the door when you stepped out into Beggar's Lane. I just want to make sure nothing. Uh, did that. Ah, right, great. Alright. Alright, Clara. We are content. Journal. Talk to Molly. We should be at the tavern, maybe. He's still asking about the case, the fans. Early place romance. We need to go to Pavel and get candies. And we need to do this last, I think. Poster. I really want to go in here. I don't know if she'll be the best person for it. I don't think, but she can anyway. I just want to see if there's anything here we've missed with her. Nope. I, yeah, no, we didn't. I know Sora Square. But the tavern is at the docks, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Let's go to the tavern first. Helena, are you gonna finally speak to us? The hound is still looking slaughtering here to no obvious end. <sighs> Alright. Conley, who we've technically fed. Little Rob, something else. Do you have something new to say? Nope, it's going our way. Glen, no tavern. See if we can go in now. 
Oh, I think we can. Bartender. How about a drink? <laughs> Just kidding. No drinks for the fair miss read around here if you ask me you should have stayed in mind is good graces the steak of the liquor being served here is atrocious atrocious anyway i'm not missing much what sort of person kills a dog then proudly displays that choice on the wall the world is cruel but this there is molly the dwarf. By the face, this fellow looks like he doesn't need to rem remove the bones from his food when he eats. Introduce yourself. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Clara Reed. Paco Melendez. I'm a doc hound, just so you know, not to be trifled with. Oh, the guy. Right, of course. Never enter my head. He still is at my answer. Perhaps I saw the wrong I said the wrong thing. But who ever heard of a sensitive hound? That's quite a set of my that's quite a set of chompers you got. Hi, do you like him? The dwarf seems like a tropical bird at the at the compliment. Molly takes good care of her people, she does. And these didn't even cost me nothing. Just half my pay until she made good on her investment. So you're happy working for Molly. This guy is ups and downs like any work. Uh, it was nice to meet you, Paco. But I should get going. Let's do the dog. Who we know. Greet him. Who's, who's a good boy? Alright, I'm not going to get any closer. See? Molly O'Malley, leader of the Dark House. She's always she was always ruthless. I know she'd do well for herself. Getting away from her was one of my biggest reasons for leaving the bullfrogs. But of course one can't escape Molly in this town. Oh, that's the game they were in. Ask about the dog. Feeling insecure. Don't tell me the dog to protect to protect yourself now. This this dog. Oh look at Molly. This dog could tear that chatty throat of yours in a split second, but no, I don't feel insecure. It's got a name. I thought about naming it Kalidian, Kalidian, like the Minotaur fighter, but it would have been this, but it would have been degrading, dis, uh, but it would have been degrading for the dog. So I ended up calling the thing Hercules, like the famed Greek warrior, very unoriginal, as expected of Molly. How nice. Guys, a couple of years back, I was at one of these demon dog shows. You know how I like those. And I saw this fella make his way through all the obstacles without missing a beat. Some very important people were, the, were there. Silas Bragg was one of them. Now that I think about it, <laughs> Silas is a fan of these rare beauties as well. There she goes, dropping names. It's a rare thing, you know, having a beast trained to obey their master's command without hesitation. Unlike most of the people who work for me, I saw potential in that, you see. So I spoke to his owner and I tried to get a good deal for the thing. Son of a bitch wouldn't give it away, wouldn't give it away. Sentimental attachment, he said. So, so I did what I do best? Now Hercules is mine and that piece of shit is six feet under. Oh, she got to go. Finally, she's done yattering. That is so very interesting. And what is he trained for exactly? Well, for killing, of course. Other dogs, most of the time, it's been the champion fighter of the East End for the last decade. Big boy just turned eight last week and still kicking. How can he be a decade old champion at eight years old? What's that? 
A child could count better. Forget it. I'm glad you found happiness with Hercules. The dog has whip marks on his back. He looks at me like he's ready to eat me alive. Poor thing has so much rage inside. I found a new revenue source, which does make me happy. I've heard enough. Hello to you too, Molly. And there she is. So, okay. Clara, dear, thought I'd be around soon if I'm being, thought you'd be around soon if I'm being honest. What took you, love? Never take your eyes off a snake. That's the intuition talking, so. All right, let's get the heart of the matter as quickly as possible. The truth is, I've been investigating something, Molly. Something I think you might be interested in. Oh, and what might that be? I've, I'll cut to the chase. Dolores Chin is in a bit of a pickle. She needs help paying off Peter Kipling. Is that so? Why wouldn't she come to me in the first place? Of course she knows you're both busy women. That's why she asked me to talk to the landsman in charge before it's before bothering you with it. We just need a five. We just need a five. We just need a five. Ah, we rolled a five. But I couldn't get McGrady to listen to me, so I thought I might ask someone who he would. You do the right thing, Clara, dear. I have a word with McGrady. He's already on thin ice with me. He and his urchins are just a cog in my machine. I'll make sure he doesn't forget it again. I sure wouldn't want to be in the last be the last man when Marty catches up with them. All's well that ends well, I suppose. A perfect illustration of why I can't wait to get out of London. Wait, which one was that? Oh yeah, that's for the land, the laundry lady. Basket. Let's go get what I'm all far from Dolores. I'll talk to you later, Molly. I am not a fan of her. They... Oh. If there's one thing this game does well, at least so far, you either really like the characters or you don't. And Molly is someone I do not. They've... Just with the background you learned about her from all three characters, you're like, okay, yeah, you're bad news. That's one thing out the way. Glenn, anything else? Nope. The guy should be back here. Teddy's friend. Dante Ziegler. Swag pile. Did we pick up? Did we pick up any? Here are some more cogs for you. Not, oh, we had nine with her. Be seeing ya. Perfect. Technically, you need it and Atticus needs it, but... Are we still content? Yeah, we are. Perfect. Tim the Felipe. Felipe? Anything new? Oh, 
for a fish. Timothy. Hello again, Clara. What can this old dog do for you? How are things at the wharf? As they always are, fog, smoke, and work. Ask about Helena. 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 I had a chat with Helena. What do you think of her? Oh, it could be worse. I've heard of dark hounds with a steel jar implanted. At least Helena's... Helena, Helena. Helena. Never started trouble with me directly. In the road. So close to the tavern, you must abide the hounds. Can I get a cigarette? Oh, I don't see why not. Good for the constitution, you know. And I'm guessing it gives us hope. Oh, that doesn't, but it gives us black bio. It takes away hope. Sorry, Square. And Dolores is. Is that the pot? No, the laundry. I'm gonna do the with the medicine first. I mean last, not first. Apples pen for opiate. And to you. Candies when you have to get from Pavel's Penfold. Let's go there first. So let's go back. Pavel's Penfold. Where do we read that? French candies. Wait, is this the red guy? Back again? You're not the first lady to take an interest. The Duchess of Face Berkshire is quite fond of the spotted ones. Madame Zora asked me to fetch her a box of French candies. She said you know the ones. My... My entertainment, mademoiselle. Wait. My certain... Entertainment. My certain... Mademoiselle. Calisons, they're called. I have a box of Madame Zora's name on it right here. Much obliged. Anything else here? Last bell? Nope. We got the candy. Now we just laundry. Trying to figure out more information if we can. Then 
Me resenté en todo, pero... But the medicine's from the apothecary. No, I remember that much. Gavin Dawson. Nope. Peter Kipling Ariana. Oh, they must be family. Um, Ariana Luttrell, formerly a textile mill girl, turned worker of the Velvet Rose after the Silk Vest factory burned down. Our work often knocks the, the nat nativ uh, Our work often knocks the nativity from us, from most, but Aria always makes the have it always seems to have it in spades. Please don't take me in. They don't even have to. Please don't take me in. You don't even have to give me my money back. I'll leave. I swear. <sighs> the freak, <sighs> Officer Kipling. Then you admit to engaging in prostitution. Is the constable's pay so pitiable that you have to resort to extortion, officer? This is police business. Now move along. I shan't repeat myself. And off, ah, Officer Peter Kipling. Blue banders are. They're friends of Dolly's, and yet by hush, they come under the roses' roof all the same. Peter is usually no different, though it appears today's ire has made a change of that. You're interfering in the confession of a crime, and trust me, madam, I'm well aware you're adjacent to said crime as well. Confront ki Ooh, I forgot we have that. What was the... Dark or not? Strength. Which one was the polymath? That's the Empress. Judgment. Huh. Your knowledge spans a wide range of subjects, making your critical thinking unmatched. Oh wait, I am a human female corsair, determined. This is the new one. Secretive. You're intent on taking your innermost self to your grave. Protect your center for others and, re and remain from your sense of adversity. All right. Have you any legal leg to stand on here? It seems to me that all you have is a coerced confession. Hardly the evidence one might require against a well-liked girl like Ariana. Even the yellow bobbies are quite fond of her if I even your fellow bobbies are quite fond of her if I quite fond of her if I recall. Clara! I suggest you take heed of your fellow lady of the night, ma'am. It is hardly in good grace to accuse an upstanding woman of such things. Did you see her engaging in the in the salacious act itself? It's by the way of closed doors and drawn curtains that Madame Zori can call the Velvet Rose a female boarding house, and the helps and, and the handsome sums traded into the right hand. While there has been a pa while there has been a, while there has been a push to add stipulations, the law is primarily meant to entangle streetwalk. Something I want Ariana to avoid unless she absolutely have to. You want evidence? I have the evidence right here. Kipling points at the ruffled dirt on Ariana's feet. I witnessed her scrub out the harlot's mark she drew right as I was walking over. I was wiping the muck off my boots. That mark coupled with the amount of money I took off her is all the proof I need to see she's selling herself. The confession is not more than a courtesy. 
She would have gotten off with a higher, with a lighter sentence had you not interrupted it. Arya, and I, Arya, Arya, and I lock eyes. I hope she won't have to take the blunt from me, the brunt from me for aggravating him so. Oh, his story is more pl is plausible enough to trump both our words. Not that much is needed in the first place. Are you freaking? <sighs> Ariana can't explain the capital. You see, officer, she is selling something. Ariana vid visibly startled as I throw the hot Irish potato in her lap. I need to give her another hint to help her recover. I, um, yes? Oh, really? And what is the thing you're selling that isn't your backside? I do not like this guy at all. Remember that line to an officer is quite the offense. I cast her on... I cast around for something, anything that might help Ariana improvise, but it's too late. She quickly loses her nerve. I, I mean, no, I don't have it. Trying to evade arrest on top of prior charges that warrants a visit down the station. Kipling. Oh, you got something to add, ma'am. Mouthing off has made things worse for ariana as it is i shouldn't let this escalate more than it already has i got your tongue eh? i was waiting for a bit more smart talk out of you I... <sighs> nope i hate reloading but no um i think this is the last i hope that's the last one i really don't like this guy And for her to confess, <laughs> like, even though technically she was, well, come on, the guy is a prick. Let's try this again. I want the same options. Same thing. Legality. Let's try it again. Throw the six. Let's go. Ariana can explain the capital officer. She is selling something. Ariana started as I throw the hot Irish potato on her lap. I need to give her another hint to help her recover. I, um, yes? Oh, really? I'm sure it's in her red reticule. reticule. She never leaves home without it. Finally the key click finally the key clicks into place. Ariana digs into her pouch to put out a spoon of a spool of thread. I'm a seamstress by trade, sir. But since the factory fire, work's been slim. I've been sending spools of thread that I've spun at home. Poor thing doesn't have a seller's license. That would explain the mark. I'm happy to speak on the logistics of merchant permits with you, officer. Christ almighty, I'm freaking I'm fucking done. Here's your money you made from your spools of thread. Thank you, sir. We both breathe a sigh of, re of relief. I always kept my sewing kit with me for emergencies. I suppose I have another reason to do so now. Thank you, Clara. Aria, you know better than to be out street walking. What has the madam told you? That I shouldn't ply my trade in broad daylight. I know, but Claire, you see, why do you think most street walkers used to cover the night in the first place? The money, Clara, I refused payment for a particular punter called Felipe, whom I've grown fond of, and now I need to make up for what I owe to Madame Zora. You refuse payment. I hold my tongue on that for now. We should discuss it later on. So you're the one. I'm unsure. Mm. I'm unsure what what might. What might make Zora angrier? Being short in earnings or drawing heat from her bobbies? I'm sorry for snapping that. 
your lips are sealed, right? The madam must know it's safe. I'm safe. At least he didn't haul me off to Scotland Yard. Even so, I better make tracks for the Velvet Rose before Zara catches wind of this. Hopefully she makes up the money back there. There should be clients present at this hour. And plenty of professionals fighting for them as well. You've been you've been a grand friend of me today, really. Here, I'd like to thank you probably for your help. Oh, our friend. A lace fan, expertly fashioned from muslin and lace. Muslin and lace. Someone has got good taste in such things. I didn't expect the reward, but it's exquisite. I want to see it. Um, uh, what about the... She's most likely going to figure it out. Eh. It's, it looks better than that one. That's the can. Oh, we can eat her. Oh, let's save that. <laughs> 